ladies and gentlemen, a former neighbor of the Crumleys has come forward to say a few years back, they had to call CPS on them. So this is really interesting. So this came out on Fox December 6, 2021. Former Ethan Crumley neighbor called Children's Protective Services on Parents years ago, report. Law enforcement and prosecutors have noted that many warning signs that preceded the massacre at Oxford High School last week included 15-year-old Ethan Crumley was caught Googling ammunition the day before the tragedy. So I'm just going to go down to where the neighbor comes in. And what they're saying is when they were living next door to the Crumleys, they would go out drinking. And she said this occurred between 2014, 2015, and they would leave Ethan in the house with no phone. And Ethan would go next door to this neighbor. Her name was Kayla Lemieux and told her, you know, he had no phone. He couldn't call anybody, nothing. So when she found out about that, she called CPS and said the parents continued leaving their son at home alone, even after she filed a complaint against them and even confronted them about leaving him in the house with no phone. It was really when I finally started saying more because this is what the neighbor was saying. I was just like, even after calling CPS, they were still doing it. And even me saying something to them, they would still say, oh, he's fine. She told the uh, Detroit Free Press, Child Protective Services did not respond to a request for comment on Monday. So we know they were arrested, you know, hours uh, in the early hours of, it was just past Saturday, I believe, they were found in a building. So the Oakland County Prosecutor Kim McDonald detailed the charges on Friday and that's where Jennifer was crying uncontrollably in the court, you know, and remember they bought a gun for Ethan here. Mm-mm-mm. Well, I guess that says a lot about their parenting. So apparently they would go out and tie one on and leave him in the house by himself. And they did it quite often. This neighbor lived next door to them between 2014 and 2015. So, I mean, and that that sometimes is the case. You can call Child Protective Services on people, and sometimes they do little to nothing. They don't always do anything. I mean, they're not the best at uh, doing their jobs anyway, because look at how many people especially children turn up dead every year and they had someone from CPS coming around and checking on them. I mean, so what do you expect from a government agency in America for real, (laughs) For, for real? But I'm not really surprised after you listen to so many things that happened prior to, and yeah, and I, I heard about the Trump letter that she wrote these people don't seem to be wrapped too tight at all. But to y'all tell me what you think about this neighbor coming forward and calling CPS on the Crumleys. And she apparently did it more than once. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So many signs, right? please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. 
Peaks family.